Did you guys miss me? I am officially back on the channel. Jimmy had to uh, go back to whatever rock he crawled out from, but it's another glorious, beautiful day here in Ohio. Let's get a peep of this tropical weather. Come on. Isn't this nice? Man, they told me I could be anywhere I wanted to be when I grew up, and I chose Ohio as my destination. These bright blue skies, clear weather, it doesn't get much better than this. It just, it just doesn't. It's hard to be depressed when you live in such a beautiful place like this, but let me show you guys something I found that is a meal prep game changer. I got an air fryer and I used it for the first time last night. We're gonna be using it here in a little bit on the channel, but it's still early. I gotta get my workout in, so it is time for shoulders. Feels so good to get your workout in early in the morning. I recommend if you have a priority, whatever that priority is, do it first thing in the morning. That way, the rest of the day, smooth sailing. So what I'm gonna do, go through the rest of my shoulder workout, give you guys a quick little breakdown of each exercise, sets, reps, all that stuff, and then uh, we're out of here, baby. All the good stuff's done for the day, so let's go. Amazing workout guys, I am feeling really good. Little mini physique update here. It's about 167 this morning. Feeling good, definitely leaning out. Definitely getting a lot more shape in my stomach and everything. Seeing those striations and stuff in my chest and like shoulders and traps. Not too bad for a shoulder day. So yeah, little physique update. I think I'm gonna start like a hardcore cut here uh, pretty soon. So if you wanna see that series or something like that, comment below with like meals, nutrition, and all that junk. But anyways, enough here, cardio time. Workout done, now it's grocery time. We're gonna speed run through everything I got. Gallon of water, we got chicken, we got some cereal, we got some unsweetened almond milk, we got ourselves some salsa, we got ourselves a fry cutter, we got ourselves some peanut powder, we got some seasonings for that. We got some sweet potatoes, we got some wraps, and then we got some sweet potato fries and a frozen bag. We're gonna try with that new air fryer thing that we got, and then um, I think that is going to be it. I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, breakfast time. We are gonna make ourselves breakfast with three simple ingredients, and I'm telling you, it's gonna taste really good, so let's do it. I am not lying to you guys when I say this is a delicious way to start the day. Hold on, live taste test right here. After thinking about nutrition and making results, guys, you don't need these fancy recipes with 20 ingredients. You wanna trick yourself into thinking you're having pancakes every morning. Get yourself some simple staples, throw them together. I'm telling you guys, simpler is better when it comes to fitness and nutrition. So anyways, I'ma eat. All right guys, breakfast has been served. We are doing a little work here, but I'm gonna show you something I bought to decorate the office with. Check it out. We got ourselves a Super Saiyan Goku figurine here. Look at that detail though. Look at that detail. What do you think of that, Grant? I love it. I want one of them for my desk. Isn't it dope? Yes. But you do got your little pit boy I do. attachment from Fallout and you got Darth Vader over there, I so. Do. I think you're doing all right. I'm trying to step my game up, yeah. <laughs> I think that my favorite thing about this is like, if I'm ever like lacking motivation, I just can look over at this and be like, hmm, what would Goku do? To go even further beyond! And that's how I get through most of my days. Sometimes you just need a good, positive, non-fictional, not cartoon role model to get you through your days. <laughs> Boom, still in my sweaty gym clothes, so let's change that. 
much better. Here we go, all fresh. Now, it's time to have a chat. I wanted to take a quick second and talk about the Jimmy video that came out yesterday. The support on that video was unreal, turned out way better than I ever imagined. So thank you to each and every one of you that left a positive comment, watched the video, and commented on my social media telling me that it was the best part of your day. Literally, that had that had a smile on my face all day. And as far as content on this channel, like obviously not every video is going to be like that. That was basically a big skit from start to finish. I personally enjoyed making it. It was the most fun I've ever had making a video. And I really got to play a different character and show some of my humor side that I've never really got to do when I'm just myself on this channel. So moving forward, we're not going to do videos like that all the time, but there's gonna be one like that probably sprinkled in every now and again where I can really just take a concept and just go crazy with it. And uh, for some people that did comment saying they preferred my older content, what I want you guys to know and the content on this channel moving forward is that I'm never going to be that guy ever again that is going to just create simple meal prep videos and simple recipe videos and call it a day. I wanna challenge myself as a filmmaker, as an artist, as a creator, whatever you wanna call it, and I wanna push myself to be just more creative and to make better videos. And that video for the Jimmy one, 10 minute video took me six and a half hours to edit. But the end result was incredible. The feedback was incredible. Everybody from Grant's parents to old relatives I hadn't talked to in forever, people from high school watched that video and told me, oh my gosh, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. You are doing great. And they've never even watched any of my other fitness videos. But this one video was just <laughs> something about it. Got them to watch it. So without rambling too much, I just want to create content that at the end of the day, I am proud of, and that's what we're gonna do moving forward. No more simple just to get by videos that are recipes, meal preps, I've done them all. If you're here strictly for that content, then this channel might not be for you anymore. There's plenty of other fitness guys out there doing the workouts, doing the training, being 100% serious, and guys, that is just not me. I wanna try to make you guys laugh as often as I can. I'm gonna be goofy, but I'm gonna do all that fitness stuff as well, but it's gonna be a lifestyle. It's gonna be a convergence of both of those things, so just wanna let you guys know about that. Give me your feedback down below, but anyways, Guys, let's play with my new toy. So as you guys seen due to the title of this video and what we talked about earlier, I got myself a new meal prep accessory. Used it last night for the first time and the convenience factor, like I thought Crock-Pot was the way to go. No, this thing is incredible. Heard a lot of stuff about it. Seen it in some other fitness guys' videos. Seen one at the store the other day, bought it, and I'm telling you guys, you're gonna be amazed by this. So what we're gonna do real quick, I'm gonna show you a quick little recipe for some grilled tenders. We're gonna cook them in the fryer and I'm telling you they taste incredible. And we're also gonna make some homemade sweet potato fries. So let me give you a little breakdown though of exactly how this thing works. Come on. So what makes an air fryer so special is that it mimics the effects of a deep fryer, but it uses air instead of oil to fry your food. So you don't get all that extra fat, which uh, not really sure the size behind all that. It's like some space age stuff, but hey, if it makes us live a little healthier, then I'm game for it. Check this out. So you cook everything in this little tray here, click, pull out, boom, everything like drains off of it. Slide that forward, click that button, it comes out. Set your timer there, you got options for all sorts of stuff. I'm telling you guys, this thing is super convenient. After I used it yesterday, I was just like, mind blown. So, let's go ahead and see, see what we can do. Get some chicken prepped. So what I've done here is I've taken my chicken, put it on a cutting board, and then I get a bowl here that I'm going to take my chicken and kind of lay it in and toss it. So basically take a chicken, take a chicken, put it in here, get a nice coating of seasoning on it, and boom, the two seasonings I'm using, I'll put a picture of right here. Just one of them is a chickening seasoning blend, one salt free, I combine them to give it more of like a breading. You guys can see here, we'll take one in, take one out, and boom. I do prefer these little chicken tenders. They're already made like this, so you don't gotta really do any trimming. They're just kinda ready to go off the rip. So it makes this entire process way easier. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna do this to each and every one of these pieces of chicken. And once that's done, we're gonna take our chicken, over here to our basket and just lay them all right in here. I don't really think it matters how you lay them. Uh, I've only done this once, but um, this is kind of what I did last time and they turned out incredible. So toss them all in here, boom. Slide it right in here, boom. And then we're just gonna hit our chicken button. Sets our temperature where it needs to be and then power and then boom 20 minutes so the air fryer is doing its thing chef ram is going to show you guys how to make some homemade sweet potatoes so check this out we got our cutting board here basically what you want to do is start with your whole potato and you're going to start cutting it into fourths or fifths depending on how thick it is this is a big boy right here so um probably fifths but what we do is once you get it into your fifths or whatever go down through as you can see we have some already done let's we'll kind of go down through here and make your little 
fries out of it, right? Depending on what kind of size you want, whatever. Let's go down through, boom. And then if you don't want them this big, you can obviously, you know, kind of cut them into smaller pieces. And that is basically that, guys. So we're gonna go down, make ourselves a bunch of fries, then we're gonna toss them. And then once these are done, swap them out. The beeper just went off, 20 minutes is up. Let's see how these things look. Open up here and voila, look at that thing. Crispy, juicy, cooked all the way through. And how easy was that, guys? I'm telling you, this is a game changer. We're not done yet, though. Let's throw the fries in here. And quick little tip on those sweet potato fries. Basically, all I do, once they're cut into little pieces, hit them with a light little dusting of whatever cooking spray you're using. I'm using extra virgin olive oil spray, and then I put a light layer of pink Himalayan sea salt on them, and then I also use a dash of paprika, and then we throw them in the basket. So, once these are done, we'll pull them out and see what they're all about. Boom! Voila, the finished product. Get a load of this. We got ourselves a whole batch of sweet potato fries, crispy chicken tenders. We're gonna do a live taste test right here. So, take a tender and, I don't know if you can see how juicy that is on the inside, but how like fully cooked that is all the way through. Hopefully you guys can see that. If not, I apologize, I'll do a B-roll clip in here, but these are incredible. Some of the best chicken tenders I've ever had in my life. And then, let's try the sweet potato recipe. And, Telling you guys, this is a meal prep game changer. Instead of your normal sweet potato fries, you're gonna get it like a restaurant. They're gonna be deep fried in oil, loaded with fat. These are the real deal. Literally, chato sweet potatoes added a little bit of fat from the like cooking spray, but very minuscule amounts, some salt. And there we go. You could literally eat chicken strips and fries for your meal prep and be set. And you've seen how easy that was, guys. So when I find things like this that simplify my life, and I know it could probably simplify yours, I talk about them on the channel because sharing is caring. So I feel like I just had to talk about how like we're not a meal prep channel anymore. Well, quote unquote, and we did all this, but oh well. I'm always gonna show you guys, if I find something new, you best believe I'm gonna share it with you. So with that, we're gonna wrap this video up, guys. Thank you so very much for all the support lately. If you haven't watched the Jimmy video yet, check it out, I'm telling you, it's uh, it's one of a kind. So smash that thumbs up button. If you wanna see anything in particular from me, comment down below. And as always, don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you can make it better. With that, we are out of here. This has been a Remington James production. I will see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See you guys.